If you are glad to see the first midweek, Sunday, midweek service in this October, let's jam those hands together for Jesus. God has been faithful. We shall be thanking God. Chapter 92, verse 1 and 2 says, It's a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High, to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. With that, we shall be appreciating God for the success of all church services since the beginning of this month. Let's open our mouth and begin to thank God for all the church services we have had since the beginning of this month. October 1st, October 2nd, October 3rd, God has been faithful. Everything worked out perfectly fine. Good weather, good attendance. Lord, we give you honor and praise now for the success of all services now since the beginning of this month now. For your divine presence we saw, Lord, all true. We give you honor and praise now. We have returned to appreciate you, Lord, for the success of all church services now. Since this month began, Lord, we give you honor. We give you praise now. Matalio Zatemanu, Likara Beredia, Luca Branamaso Prodobolia, Liko Prete Zepredelia, Likamato Zabia, Liadolia La Pradabalia. We prayed for the service and you made it a huge success. Lord, we give you honor and praise now. Father, we bless your name for everyone you brought now. Lord, we give you honor and praise now for the world encounters, for the excitement and everything you do. Lord, we glorify your name, O God. You have done all things well for us. That is why we have returned to thank you, Lord. Knowing that as we thank you for what you have started doing this month of October and the remaining services of this month shall yet be far greater, Lord. As individuals, we have returned to thank you, Lord. As a child, we have returned to appreciate you, Lord. Father, we bless your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have thanked. In Psalm chapter 89, verse 34, the Bible says, My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. With that, we shall be thanking God, for there shall be no Lord walking our midst in the ember months. Let's open our mouth and begin to thank God. Lord, we thank you, for there shall be no Lord walking in our midst. Lord, in the ember months, Lord, you have started with us September. We have entered the fifth day of October. Lord, you have kept us, Lord. We give you honor and praise, Lord, in all our are going out and are coming in, Lord, you have preserved us you know, by air, by road, by all means of transport, from the elders to the least, Lord. Lord, you have kept us, Lord, you know, all through the ember months, Lord. Lord, you have kept us, Lord, for the no lost covenant walking law. Love for us all through the ember months now. We have returned to appreciate you. We have returned to thank you, Lord. Lino Sepegelia, knowing that you who have started keeping us now in the ember months now. Lord will see everyone, Lord, to December, Lord. Let's pray the Zulia, Malia and Nabarabalia, Yeko pray the Ziolema, Lenoro Sante Molanda, Makha Bradabalia, Yeko Zete Bregedelia, Luria Lenoba, Makha Bradabalia, Lose Zopreti Zopratiande, Lirosa, Miko Pratiande Kariando, Liodelia, Bakha Bradabalia, Yeko pray the Zioto, Lord, we glorify your name, O oh God. Thank you, Father, for hearing us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have thanked. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 says, But as it is written, Eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. We shall be thanking God for making members and the commission enjoy times 10 
in all endeavors of life this month. Let's open our mouth and begin to thank God for making members and the commission enjoy time stand in all endeavors of life, Lord. Lord, this month of October, Lord, we are thanking you for making us to enjoy ten times, Lord, of everything, Lord, we desire, Lord, in the works of our hands as a commission. Lord, we thank you for causing us to enjoy ten times, Lord. Little Zabratalia, in all endeavors of life, Lord, whatever we lay our hands to do, Lord, we are thanking you for making us to enjoy ten times, Lord. Little Branimolia, in this ten month, no. It shall be multiples of ten, Lord. We appreciate you, Lord, for making that happen for us, no. Little Zata Branamalia, Little Dolia, Miko Branio Zeke Pegetulia, Malia Nabarabalia, Lopreneo, Rahapa Kazo Predebelia, Lurie Kepo Sandioza, Leko Pranimosa. Lord, we appreciate you for making us, no, to enjoy ten times, no. Lord, in all endeavors of life, Life, Lord. Whatever it is, we lay our hands to do, Lord. Lord, we bless your name for making us to enjoy ten times, Lord. Lord, the benefit of it, Lord. Maka Bratalyandu Predebeha, Lido Ziolia, Liko Branimo, Liaza Bratioza, Yeke Preketusa, Malia Nabarabalia, Yiko Landibelia, Lokalia So Predebelia, Lekudesa, Linando Prenemolia, Maka Bratasu. Lord, we appreciate you, Lord. Lesus Zatiande Kaparavalia, Lurien no Bredebe, Makhabana Mose, Lopez Zeketore Alare and Nebrebolia. Lina no Riele Kapataliando, Iko Zekadolio. Father, we appreciate you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for hearing us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have thanked. May please be seated. Still in the mood of prayer, we are going to be praying expectation prayer. And let's look at John chapter 15, verse 16. Say, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. We are going to rise on our feet. We are going to decree members shall ascend their thrones via today's communion and our soul winning endeavor this tenth month in the mighty name of Jesus. Right. I want you to rise on your feet and lift up your voice unto this the Lord and begin to decree. Begin to declare that members shall ascend their throne via today's communion and our soul winning. Endeavor in this tenth month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to pray to the Lord. Lift up your voice unto him and begin to pray. Our Father, we decree. Father, we declare that our member shall ascend their throne via today's communion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our member shall ascend the throne via today's communion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we decree. Father, we declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that our member we ascend. We claim the throne via today's communion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we decree in this tenth month of soul winning. In this tenth month of soul winning, our member shall climb, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. They are throne in the mighty name of Jesus. Elebo Karabalabosh. E zura kutali garaba manzete to pali garabosh le rako sa to taliga according to the scripture say those that went so they are wise in the mighty name of Jesus right as every member begin to win so they will ascend to their own throne via the communion in the mighty name of Jesus right le rebo shatalabos e zura kali garabo manketo pali garabo Lele Kuraga Labo Shala Aziraka Ligarabo Make to Pala Galabo Raku Parabos Le Zura Kadiga Father we decree Member shall ascend 
their throne via today's communion. Via today's communion, members shall ascend their throne in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In this tenth month of so winning, everyone, Lord, you will take us to the higher place. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Also, Acts chapter 8, verse 30 to 31. It says, And Philip ran it out to him, and heard him read the prophet Isaiah, and said, Understand thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I? I said, some, so, some man should guide me. And he desired Philip that he would come, come up and sit with him. We are going to decree fresh understanding for every member as God's word comes our way in today's service in the mighty name of Jesus. Right? Let me begin to pray and begin to decree for fresh understanding for everyone that appeared before the Lord today. There shall be a revelation of words of God in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Reveal yourself again and again in a new dimension to every one of us in today's service in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Reveal yourself in a new dimension in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Enlighten our understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree a afraid baptism of understanding, a afraid baptism of understanding for every one of us via your word, O oh Lord, in tonight's service there shall be a baptism of fresh understanding for every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Also, if you look at Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 10 to 11, and it says, For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, and it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my world be, be that goeth forth, out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the, in the thing where to I send it. We are going to decree speedy manifestation of every prophetic declaration of wonders in the lives of every member in this tenth month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us begin to pray unto the Lord for manifestation of prophetic declaration of wonder in everyone's life in this tenth month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we decree, we declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for manifestation, for manifestation of prophetic declaration. Every prophetic declaration that can, Lord, via, oh Lord, this altar, we decree, we declare there shall be a quick manifestation a quick manifestation, a testimony we come forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In this tenth month, Father, we pray and we decree. We declare for a quick manifestation of the prophetic declaration from this altar, O Lord, to everyone's life in this month, O Lord, of the tenth month of the year, of our wonders in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray. Father, we decree. We declare, O oh Lord, Father, let there be a declaration. O oh, Father, Lord, that has come via your servant, let it make a practical expression in our life, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, Father. We believe, O oh Lord, because you have done it, O oh Lord. Thank you for what you have done. Blessed be your holy name. Because you are the God that answered prayer, be thou exalted. In Jesus' name, we pray. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Please take your seat. Every tongue, amen. Bonane shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow out your truth.
your hand and give me praise. Lift your hand above your head and give me praise. Today is the fifth day of October. Wave your hand and appreciate him for his divine protection, blessings, miracles, journeys by road, by air, by sea, whatever you have experienced this few days, give him praise, give him praise. We worship you, Lord. In Jesus' name we are praying. Some people were here on the first. Some came on the second. If you came on the third, I will here again now. It's the grace of God. Things are costly and God sees your heart for defying all, that, all these satanic attacks. And I told you that I come to the church for the fourth time. Only yesterday they didn't come. For all the services you are rendering, thank God because your reward is coming. Thank God. You are not laboring in vain. Give him praise. Your reward is coming. You are not laboring in vain. In Jesus' name we are praying. Now when service is rendered with complaint, there's no reward. But once service is rendered, you don't see it as if you have spent any money. God knows how to reward you. My mother sang a song to me when I was younger. I was singing in English, and I was singing in, I was explaining in English. It said, Jesu, O Ziguenaoko, Mahe Zaka, Mahe Zunyo, where Sabore, my Gua, say, where Say, Jesus is the captain of the ship. If you are inside, you don't complain, he will take to the seashore. Please don't complain for coming to church. Once you leave your home, I'm here to serve God. Now, we're going to sing an English one that we are not serving God in vain. It is a great thing. Where do you want to sing it? To serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light of it is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing. Listen to your word this evening. Give us a baptism of understanding in Jesus' name. Please, let's be seated. Evangelism and passion for souls. Let's say together. We have many Christians in the church. But we don't have many soul winners in the church. We have plenty of uh, church goers in the church, and not many people are actually soul winners. This topic is done once a month in this ministry, and I want us to take serious notice of the things we are saying this morning. That if we ask us to compare them to come, there's no way they will come on their own. 
I mean, what I say, Edomian advertisers, Edomian. What do they do? Some play music. Eh? And what? And dance and show their product. You can ask the question, they talk to you with excitement. Now, if they are selling those things, you say, what are you selling? You say, why are you asking? They come and say, it don't mean, it don't mean. This is price, this is price, this is price. They are excited, they wear t-shirt, and they are moving around that area, and are, yes, they are happy to work in Indomie. There is no insurance man who we from. What is it from for? They are welcome, this also, so, so, so. They move around and rejoice. See bankers too, all over the place, they rejoice. So Christianity without passion for souls is a selfish Christianity. If all you want is yourself, your, kid, your household, your nobody should come, you no, know, wind up. Every day you see sinner near you, some are your cook, some are your workers, some are your driver, some are your, you know, people around you that you send messages, no interest in their soul. That is selfish Christianity. Say after me, Christianity, without passion for souls, is a selfish Christianity. That's the truth. If you are here, you are spent six months, no person you can point to on Sunday morning that you brought to church, you are not a Christian. You are, you are more church goers and patriots. Now, you say, but Bishop, why are we talking about soul winning? The power to do it has been given. The power to do it, that's why we are filled with the Holy Ghost, so that he can quicken us to talk to people. The boldness is given when you are filled with the Holy Ghost. You are not filled with the Holy Ghost to speak in tongues and just talk around the house. No. He said, I will, I, you wait for the power. And you are baptized with power. With the Holy Ghost and fire. And it will become a witness in Jerusalem where you live. Judea, Samaria, and uttermost part of the world. So the power has been given. Say after me. So the fear of what will I say is not there. See there, you, are, you shall receive the Holy Ghost. After that, you, have, you, have, you shall receive power. After you have received the Holy Ghost upon you, and you shall baptize, and you shall be witnesses where? But where? Say where I live. Okay, now. Jeru, uh, uh, Jerusalem, Judea, maybe you element. Samaria, maybe you another place. Then, uttermost part of the world. Please, no person who is born again has any reason, any excuse for no winning souls. So long as you are alive, you can talk, you can eat, you can shake, you can relate with people, you can talk, you can do it. Let's look at Luke 24, 47 to 49. Say we can do it. Nobody, not, nobody say. Say we can do it. Luke 2, 47. And the repentance and remission of sins should be preached. What? In, the, in his name. Among? Beginning at Jerusalem where you live. And ye are witnesses of this thing. You have seen it. Christ has done it. So go and do it. 49. And behold, I send the promise of my father upon you that but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until you be endued with power. So they were asked to wait. So there was a waiting period because that was the first time Holy Ghost would come. Are we waiting again now? Huh? Every Sunday, Pastor Edward, Minister of Paul, Holy Ghost Baptism, and they do a believer's class, and we are filled with Holy Ghost, you can partake of the things we are doing. So, Bishop, I'm not a graduate. I'm not a, 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 I didn't do a test here. I didn't do it. No. Once we are born again, and the minister to you can receive Holy Ghost Baptism and be empowered to witness to Christ. Why are we talking about soul winning? There is a reward for it. There's what? John 15, 16. Don't tell me I can't do it. So long as you have a testimony of your salvation, that woman of Samaria didn't preach the gospel. He didn't quote Mark. He didn't quote Genesis. He only said, come see a man who told me what I ever did. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Who is talking? Who is talking? Jesus. And ordain you that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever you ask the Father in my name, I will give it to you. So if Christ can find your fruit in the Bible, 
for you. Papa preached a message. Said, you challenge God for anything. One brother threw gold. Now, Papa said, you challenge for anything. I want one million naira for one soul. He won one soul, and God gave him one. one. He won another soul. By the time he won five souls, God gave him five million. In this Nigeria, I want one million. Because he was serious about it, and God knew that if you are serious, he will do it for you. That there's nothing you do that when it comes to so winning that God cannot give you. He said, whatever you ask for, when you, the soul is abiding in the church, I will bless you. Now, why evangelism? Let's answer the question. Why evangelism? Why do I do evangelism? Number one, to save souls from death. Talk now. That's why we do evangelism. Because there are souls that are far away outside the mechanics, trader, people all over the places. There's a boy we met in the estate there. We preached to him. He came to this church once. Later, he lost contact with his phone. This year, we met him in another estate. We pursued him. Last year, he came to the church and went back. But this year, we met him again. And we still pursue him. He has come about two or three times now. There's one day, ring fell, and they came. There are people we don't need to remind. When God begins to touch them, they will come. There's someone in the estate there now. He's a gate man. I preached to him. Since that time, only once I've found, when he was in the church, he said, it's a secret man. This person to replace him was not around. They will not come until they are invited. And they will not come. Proverbs 20, 14, 25. A true witness delivered. You're not talking now. A true witness, but a deceitful witness speak a lie. Deliver, so you deliver them from death. Please after me. Say, my soul winning. See my hand, see my hand. We deliver them from death. Number two, to prevent suffering and pain. Once there is no evangelism, there is no repentance, suffering will continue. I'm robbing will continue. A lady preached to a man in Lagos, Kingsley, hear me? Notorious arm robber. He was in prison and the lady preached to her there. So they did not discharge the man. The lady still pursued after, after he knew the address and kept pursuing this man. The man would be dodging. I don't want to call. Almost two or three months, the girl kept pursuing the man. So the man finally came to the church, win us, and gave us to Christ. But he said, okay. He confessed his sins. All the desire to drink, desire to so smoke, all of them died that day. The guy said, pursue her until he was established in the church. Two years after that, he's now a pastor in Winners. Two years after. So someone would have been dead in an area or something. A lady preached and pursue her until he's now established. Now. She said, I'm now a, 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 a pastor in this ministry. Please, we don't know whether the person we are preaching to will be a commissioner or head of state or one governor of a state. Us is to share the gospel. Us. See what Paul said. First Corinthians 9 16. Say, Woe is me. For though I preach the gospel, I have not the glory of for necessity is laid upon me. Yea, woe is me unto me if I preach not the gospel. There are people who are suffering. I have to go and tell them. Acts 20, uh, uh, 26 18. Let me see. Let me Acts 26 18. Paul said, Poor suffering. Acts 26 18. To open the eyes and to turn them from where? To light. And from the power of Satan that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. They are suffering, they are about to die. So we are the one to deliver them because they will not see their darkness. Number three, to make Jesus known. Number three. Yes. John 3 11. To make Jesus known to them. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that we do know and testify that we have seen, and you receive not our witness. 
we are talking about Christ, you're not receiving, but we are speaking the truth that Jesus died for our sins. Number four, it's a commandment from God. Number four, Matthew 28, 18 to 20. Matthew 28, 18 to 20. Oh yeah, let's read one, two, go. We just screen, read now. Read your Bible. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, in heaven, 19. Go, therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son, 20. Teaching them to observe all things, whatever I have commanded you. And lo, and with you always, even when? Now, since he said go, as I come back, since he said go, did he say withdraw it? So we are still on the go. That go and compare them is our work this month, that operation we for souls. If the other one did not work, this one must work. Amen. Mark 16, 15. Go, go. Say so we are on the go. That's the assignment at this month. When you do your shop, don't just go and so cloud. Bring them. Okay, my room. Those who enter your car, who are in town, bring them. Whoever is, wherever you are working, you are, uh, uh, your office, bring them. Don't they come? School, they are there, plenty, bring them. Somebody's enrolling. God bless you. How are you? Take. I work to our next service. You don't know who you are converting. You don't know who you bring. Maybe a professor tomorrow. Yes, let's read Mark 16, 15. Everyone in church, let's read. And he said unto them, Go ye. And what? Since he said, Go ye, he has not yet come back. Until he comes, the go ye does not stop. Until he comes, Now, what are the types of evangelism we have? Types. What kind of types of evangelism do we have? Number one, we have the mobile evangelism, which is almost like rally. You sit inside the bus or vehicle. Hallelujah, Jesus is Lord. You'll be distributing trash and preaching to poor about crusade, Pentecost fire. They do it when they have other meetings. You trust them with truck. They move around. That's mobile evangelism. Some receive the tract and come. Some may not come. But don't worry yourself. Because this is the one that will do it. Do it. Among the 1,000 tract you give out, you may get five or so uh, six represent, uh, come around. But that's mobile evangelism. Use bus, use equipment. You'll be dancing. Some people even dance on the ground. Dance, this is, dance around. And, say, and let me tell you, anywhere you have a dance outside, people must come out. And if you come out and distribute and tell them what you are doing, and you can even pause something and preach to them. Say mobile evangelism. So anybody that has bus, that has pickup, can do it. And if you say, organize mobile evangelism, Bishop, want to do mobile evangelism? Who said no? Go ahead and do it. If you win the souls, bring them to church. Number two, you have crusade. We have this crusade when we came, one in uh, Elekaya, one in Rukboko. So there are crusade. A cell can do crusade. A district can do crusade. It's not only bishop that can do it. If they want to do it, we we'll support them and give them the equipment to go ahead. Please, any district you are in, you want to do crusade this last quarter. Why not? Tell us. We will we'll make the arrangement and give you necessary support. Number three, say one to one evangelism. Say it loud now. This is the commonest one. Before I call uh, about number four, street evangelism. You can also do street evangelism. Tempo on the street, talking, relating. They will not be beating drum, but you just move around the street. And it's also evangelism. But this evening, let's look at one to one. Say one to one evangelism. What's the meaning of one to one? This is where evangelism. Or this is the evangelism where you minister to somebody, either sitting with him, either standing with him, or walking with him. So they, they, I mean, some people, they are walking, you can walk with them in an estate. Many of them walk. Some, I leave my car, tell you, be driving, be walking, talking to him. And some, I'm going to cry, eh? I'll be a pastor, yes. I came out of the town to come and share the gospel with you. I, I came to this estate because of you. And some, I'm going to say, ah, 
me, you are bishop, you are still preaching. I say, yes, preaching. I say, yes. That's I may be first a Christian before I became a bishop. So you can preach to people one to one. Why sitting, say after me? Why standing with them? Or why walking? I've sat on Kekenape on that Okpora road. The man was, not, you know, they still on turn to, to, to carry passenger. It wasn't yet his turn. I sat with him. I've sat on Joko with other One day they gave me one plastic chair. It wasn't very good. I just put my hand in the case it, 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 it break. I mean, you come, you got to go and buy new plastic chair because you have come. Are you doing all the show? If you can manage, what can you manage? When you went to the Jews, it became like the Jews. When it was the Romans? Don't do a thing because you are a pastor now. You're going to bring a new chair because uh, you have an AC at home. This evangelism at close range. Say evangelism. You see him. And when he tell you, bros, how now? Say how now? Are you in Nigeria? How country? We do. Don't do as if you can't speak pretty English because you, are, you came from church. If they speak pretty English, what are you telling me? If you don't do as if, uh, how are you? Put in the talk. No, something like that. Just relate with them the way they can understand. Because that's why when we go out, we don't blow grammar. They don't want to see grammar. Simple greeting. With the mechanic, how was your today? How market? That is what they want to hear. Not uh, English. This is the type Jesus had with woman of Samaria. This is the type. This is the type. This also the type Paul had with the jail. Ah, don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. One to one. This is the type Andrew came and said, Peter, Simon, we have seen a savior. Is the type Philip said, Nathaniel, oh boy, one more day for town. Let's go and meet him. Every one of us can witness. Every one of us. Don't tell me, Bishop, I don't know what to talk. But even if the uh, time to go out, you don't know what to talk, in your cell, in your group, join those who have been doing it. Join. You hold and be let before hearing what I say. And don't quote Jeremiah said, Matthew said, they don't know the scripture. You don't need to just leave them. Jesus died for you. Jesus loves you. Now, let's go advantages of one to one. Number one advantage. One to one evangelism is meeting the person at the grassroots, just the way he is. If he's a mechanic, you meet him. He's wearing dirty clothes. With, the only way you want, when you're a mechanic, see me occasionally. You want to greet them. Because they are mechanic, what do you do? You see, my hand is dirty. Do what? Use the back to shake me. One day I went out, I saw a lady. One day I said, no, they don't shake her. I said, ah, sorry, I didn't know. There's a place, ladies, they don't shake her with men. Are you aware? I, I, I saw my protocol, my father was saying it. I said, I went to witness. They said, no, I don't shake her. So there are people that die. Don't worry them. And there are some you give hand beat to the chair. Even if they chair it, let it be that you don't talk. That you chair hand beat, God will chair your life. Don't curse them. Don't what? Because you are not the savior, and you don't know, Reverend uh, Joe, uh, uh, Reverend Eze, he said somebody came from the US from the, to greet he, the meeting. He was, the lady was saying, I want to see him, I want to see him. They said, are you at the phone? He said, I don't have to wear a phone. I came from the US to see the man. He was shouting a body. He told the uh, reception, you are stupid. <laughs> when Joe came, after he listened to the woman, he told the staff, Whatever they tell you, just bear it. They have been suffering. They have been going through challenges. So that you came in company, you're not an appointment, you're not this one. You, they are already angry because they, they want to see the man of God. So there are things they will tell you as a preacher, don't use to react. Absorb it. It's for Christ's sake. I'm doing this one. Number two, one-to-one -one evangelism makes you more makes you know more about the challenge or challenging of challenge of the person because when you are doing street flyer you can't talk bros the way you fold you i think i, I met some mechanic lying down the ground bros i hope there's no problem i'm not feeling fine can i pray with you yes we met man he's met already he says not feeling fine i pray, pray for him the next he says he's much better so he does you say don't just say okay you are sick it's your fault 
Any word from us to wound the sinner will make the nearer go back to hell. We must not use rugged negative words on them because you want to win them. So whatever they do, even if they are spat on your face, it is good to clean your spirit down to also be spit on their face. One to one evangelism makes you to know the challenge of the person because you may ask, because somebody's face is dull, he's not happy, you will know. They are not the parameter I want to bring. He said, No, Philip. I said, Can I pray with you? He said, Yes. Now, another day I met him. I didn't even ask him. He said, I'm not feeling fine. Because that prayer, I work for him. In that, I for what prayer. So at times, they may even tell you, I'm not feeling fine. Can, you can pray for me. Next point. One to one evangelism. Bring your spiritual maturity into the place. Some of you now, you have never gone out before. When you also have the confidence of going out and you are the one talking, you get a certain that at least I'm happy to do now. I'm getting mature. I can speak to somebody. Maybe instead of you before, listen to somebody talk. Now you are the one talking. You get excited. Some people would say, This is my first time going out. It's an interesting thing. I was able to have confidence to preach the gospel because when you see others going out, say, and you also go out with them, you have confidence and that maturity that I'm happy. I've left shame today, shyness. I can preach the gospel. Next point. One-to-one evangelism makes you develop special interest in the Bible. Because by the time you ask a question, you're able to answer, and you're not time to ask questions, you begin to read more the Bible to find out more about Christ. So that in case people ask other questions, you can do. And also avoid foolish questions. Avoid. One day I was traveling from the east to Edo as a, as a student. I was preaching inside the car. So one person asked me, Judas is carried. Is he going to heaven or hell? I said, <laughs> I said, he has finished his course. Leave him alone. It's me and you talking now. Judas is carried. has finished his course. Let's leave that one. It's you now I'm talking to. So if you answer that question, you won't have trouble. This one, who is this one? So there are questions they ask you that are not related, just to distract you. Who is the mother of this one? Who gave birth to this one? Don't, don't answer this question. Leave that one. When you meet, go to heaven, you can ask God. But me now, face to face, <laughs> glory to God. And at times, you are talking to one person, and that person you want to distract him. If you notice it, you can pull him out of that place. Let's go to another place. Am I talking? Because when you are, what, what, gospel for what? Why? This early morning, I'm not going here. Let him go. But to distract the one you are talking to, don't let him distract the person. Because that may be a soul, a soul that God will pray for you to, for that day. Next point. One to one evangelism strengthens your weakness as a person. Maybe you have been weak, you have been shy, but you're stepping another day to talk. Oh, you get happy. Today, my strength has been renewed. At least I, today, I'm happy. I went out for so many, I can do it at other times. Various testimonies we have had at Bible school. Some say they never done it, but they were happy when they opened their mouth and they were surprised that they were able to talk some things. To their friends, which they never knew they could say to people when they go outside. That's why in Bible school, we give the chance to go out within one day of the two weeks, or one or two hours. Next point one to one evangelism creates more room for elaborate questions and answers. When you are in the rally, hey, God bless you, Pentecost fire, 24, 22, 26, you just go. But if it's this one, they can ask you questions. Am I talking? So when you do one to one, people can uh, ask questions, people can uh, sell you this one. What do you say now? What can we do? What do you want me to do? And some are, they will just say, I'll be going to show pastors are this, pastors are this. I met one, they call eBay, this is, you see, some, you know, some churches don't help people. I say, no, we don't help at the first season. You can't come to the first day and looking for help. We don't know you. You must stay in the church and become this. He became a member of the sanctuary. He was working here before he left that place. Uh, and I, uh, weather. He said, every church, pastor is not good. So I said, no, come and try out. When he came here, he enjoyed it. I didn't tend to join the unit, he joined the sanctuary. So not every church is bad. Somebody, well, there's one boy here, yellow boy, I've been on that place. I invited him, he was coming. Later, when I met him this year, that's my challenge. He said, 9 OPM. I said, no problem. So I don't know who now invited him to come back. I didn't talk to him again. 
And I met her and said, oh, no. he said, I enjoy the church very well. On the days we did anointing service, I want you want to buy her oil. You have to be coming you know. I met her again. I said, now invite your friends. Now, so if somebody was coming here, he said, now attend SYZ. Don't challenge her. I said, no problem. He does what he wants. That was there. I stopped following him. She said, he doesn't want to come here again. I don't know what happened again now. I saw him here. Then he bought another one. He had been attending service last Sunday. He stayed for the four hour meeting, for, for our service meeting. Say, so I hear. So don't give up. When they talk to them, they say they won't come back. Leave them. There are some that will still come back. Next one. What to want evangelism makes a person to have confidence in what we are saying. Because you know, yeah, Jesus Christ, this one. The Bible said this one. And you are doing as if you were there when Christ died and your faith is strong. That I know Jesus Christ. I've tested him. I've proved him. I know he cannot disappoint you. And you cannot pray for him. If he says he has any challenge, go in and hear your testimony. They want to tell you what they are going through. That you should pray, pray for them and pray with them. Next one. One to one evangelism makes a person to be more homely and free. Because when you are doing street evangelism, mobile, rally, you know, but if it's one to one, at least you have seen the person, you know where he is. At times, you may even say, ah, hey, I met you that day, mechanic was sure. Ah, that bishop, that, that's the man of God I would tell you. So they know you and your face becomes familiar. And when you know that, I mean, on that time they meet you, ah, bros, you are the one that took me in the market that day. So you can take contact and uh, address and reach to him, and you become your friend. When we go and say, well, bros, I want to be your friend. I don't want to just preach to you and go away. I want to take your phone number so you can relate one another, but you can't call me, but you can call my driver. Some of them, I mean, they actually, they have called his, this is the time, this one, and they find out questions about the service, I want to come. Not everyone will share the gospel with a gift to we come. Are you aware? Some will reject it, but that shouldn't be reason. Why? Because of rejected. Even more people rejected than those that are separated, let those that are separated come, and they will be the ones to bring others to church. Next point. One-to-one -one evangelism makes evangelism, or the evangelism, to have details and information of that person that you are talking to. Because when you cancel him, some see the way you are talking and the way you give your testimony that the problem is. My problem has been that my mother is so, so, so much. So, so there are people that you talk to, they will tell you their background, not because you ask them to tell you, because they are confident that, confident that the way you are sharing your testimony, that you are enjoying God. So they want to enjoy God and they tell you more about their life, about their relationship and things that are worrying them. On that one, one to one evangelism lifts their body of their heart as to usher uh, joy and gladness to them. Once they gladness cry, okay, they are going to have joy in their heart, and they know that when they go back, things are going to change. And they, some of them, since that day, up now, I've never smoked, I've never drunk, I've never carried women. My interest in smoking has died. So some actually glad to cry that God touches them in that uh, one to wonder. They will drop some habits. Some of you will tell what they are doing, why? The Christianity is not sweet for them. They are going to have to before. There are some things that are pursuing them. It's a woman, it's this one. And they tell you, and you pray for them. And some of them are genuine, and they drop those things. You find a joy come their way, and these bodies are lifted in Jesus' name. If we are going to do evangelism, what are the criteria? What do we need to bear in mind? Criteria for one-to-one -one evangelism. One, your attitude. You must go with a mind that God can use me. God can what? Some Bible schools in were stand outside the country, Bible school. So, for practical evangelism. So, when they went, one of them said, nobody was, nobody gave to Christ. Now, the lecturer said, were you expecting anybody to give to Christ there? He said, no. He left home with an attitude that even though I go, nobody so you must have an attitude that I'm not the doer, but I believe as I go, I will see at least one convert that will come back with me. So have an attitude that it must work. Say it must work. Have an attitude that those who are going to evangelize, they have got result, I will get. If it has worked before. So go with that attitude that it has worked before. And I'm not the first to go, I won't be the last to go. So talk, talk, tell yourself, I can make it. So I can make it.
And you have to have a good cordon. Now, if I live in a yard where I'm quarreling every day, so how can I do the bull hand be there? I live in a yard. I will blow your head. I will waste your life by the well. You didn't see my pocket before I came here. Which one you did? Remove your pocket, my friend. Tomorrow, take it. Take hand be with it. So, in case you are not going down, even the yard you are living can be a source of example. Because if your conduct in the yard, hey, hey, is shouting and hollering like a, 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 a lion, they say he has come. Yeah, you know what can the room be there? We have a service. Service of order. You that is fighting here. So your conduct at all will not allow you to witness in the yard. Your conduct at all? Don't try it. And in case even you at home, you have a bad conduct and you go out, if you don't be there, whom they may know that touch things are worried them. As I may know, they shout. What's somebody was in a believer's class before? When they do believer's class, and people, other teachers will react with them. It needs to stay long. Anger spirit. So any trait you have, like anger spirit, quarreling spirit, fighting spirit, if you carry it outside, you may dem uh, is it a punch it on a new convert and is it now wow, that man came to me, don't let it come here again. So your conduct in your compound or yard can affect your evangelism. There are people in your yard that have asked you, please give me salt, give me rice, give me something. That through your kindness in your yard, without even preach to them, if you not give the hand I'll be taking right for this one, I'll be taking this one. Please take one back to our children. So some folks call down, the way they live their life, they may not be able to preach every time, but once they do good to you, but now you cannot what you call, give the hand beer. Even though I don't say I'm a Christian, just take we have a, we have a dedication of my child. They will follow you because, you because the way you have been treating them in the year, you are not troublesome. They say, pay your due, due you are paying. Let's clean the house all day. Do some things day. Nobody, they say, let's clean the house. They won't clean. Let's do they won't do. Let's clean the room. They won't clean the room. So when you want to tell them to come to your child, they won't say, you, you don't clean the room. You are a stubborn person in the year. There's no way you can listen. Please, where we live, behave yourself. Where you live? Because if you cannot preach to somebody in your yard, you are afraid your Jerusalem. And if you are afraid your Jerusalem, you can't go to Judea, neither can you go to Samaria. Next one. Try a little kindness. A lady told me that her neighbor's child had a problem in the night. And he had a car, a carrying. Pastor has ever carried one person here in this church. The rain was falling. The, 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 the rain was heavy. He was using the maximum wiper. The rain was so heavy. See, that day, God just said he was able to drive there. Everybody was pregnant or something like that. Why was it pregnancy? One, the child was having a problem. So at times, when you show kind of people that they don't have car, and you do preach to them, and you help them in such ad, uh, adverse situation, if you invite them to the church, they, they will come because the kindness you have shown to them have proved to them that you are a good person, a good Samaritan. So may you be a good Samaritan in your place in Jesus' name. Your relationship with others. Your neighbor dry clothes on the clothesline. Rain is falling. You remove your own and remove our own. Do it two or three times. Ah, thank you, man. Thank you, sir. When you invite neighbor, they will know they will, they will come. This one will be showing kindness. But if you're in the yard, Ray beat their clothes, you take your own and leave their own. The next day, come to our church. Ray will fall in. You remove your clothes. You remove my own. Why can't you remove it and let uh, him come and meet the clothes in your house? If you are a joyful person in your yard, there's no way you can't wait so happy. How are you? Good morning. Hey, baby, you carry somebody's baby. Baby, how are you? This is a fine baby. Really joyful. Relay with children. Happy, happy with them. And let us know that, that yeah, you, you know, I know you're married. There's no way you take care of other children. You won't get a, a husband. Please, in our yard, I don't follow you there. You must live right. Otherwise, if you fail in your Jerusalem, you cannot witness outside. I say, through peaceful coexistence with your neighbor, you'll be able to win souls. If you are not a troublemaker in your yard, you leave people, you pay your dues, you say, let's, you're, you're taught to clean the toilet. You tell your children, not clean the toilet. No. If you're taught to clean the toilet, clean the toilet, you're taught to sweep, sweep, so that at the end of the day, they won't have anything to accuse you for. Through your demonstration of goodly character, there's no way people will not come to crime. You have compassion on people that uh, they said this man. When they say anybody who have compassion, who can help us do this thing, I volunteer to do this on the yard. On behalf of this, I'll go and find out 
such a, a bad never be. Do something for the year that will make them that you are showing a good example. Be a light bearer in your, your year. Be what? Let us when they say, who want to do it? Yes, who can help us go? Sacrifice for behalf of that uh, year. See whether they will not follow your goal. I put here, don't be acidic. Acid what? React. Acid. Don't be a tea bearer. Be a light bearer. You are tea bearer. Have you had? Have you had? No. Don't let somebody even show. They say, they, this one say, they say, they say, don't let him measure. Because if you are a tea bearer, you can't whistle. And if you are a gossiper, you can't whistle. They say, they say, it doesn't work. Anything about the yard, the free meeting, this is what they discuss. Let the matter die there. Your parents and your relations are not part of the committee in the yard. So, but don't be acidic in nature. As he reacts, we should act, not react. Don't condemn people. Don't query with people. Don't quarrel with people. Don't react with people. Don't be a source of person that causes argument in your yard. Otherwise, they will say, are you troublemaker, number one? What do you say, peacemaker? You are the number one. You know better? As we close, Christ said, occupy. So we are not, this is our motor occupation. Shall we rise? Occupy. Stand up and prove yourself. Stand up and prove yourself. Occupy. Crato no crato li, crato no crato lagado, no crato li, crato no crato lagado. Crato kurba lagado li baragado, shaka bara sali aga. Let's read prayer in Jesus' name. Ask God to give you strong compassion for souls where you live, where you walk, and where you do a sight. Shall we pray? Lord, we pray for strong compassion for souls where we live, our sight, where we walk. Father, we ask for compassion for souls. Lord, we ask for compassion for souls. A great compassion for souls, Lord. Father, we ask for great compassion for souls. Lord, we ask for great compassion for souls. Where we live, where we walk, Help us to be involved, Lord. Father, Lord, where we live, where we walk, Father, help us to be involved, Lord. Father, where we live, where we walk, in our site and project area, help us to be involved, Lord. Where we school, whatever we are doing, train, Lord. Ask for help, Lord. Compassion, Lord. In Jesus' name we are praying. Next one, ask God to give you boldness to preach. The Holy Ghost has come, Lord, and receive boldness to share the gospel. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Give your testimony to them. Lord, we receive greatness to declare the word of God. We receive boldness to declare the word of God. Father, we receive boldness to declare the word of God. Lord, we receive boldness to declare the word of God. We receive boldness to declare the word of God. In Jesus' name we are praying. Stretch your hand towards the communion and say, Lord, as I take communion, I receive boldness to declare the word. Let's pray, let's pray. Stretch your hand and pray. Lord, I receive boldness to declare the word. Are you praying? Lord, I receive boldness to declare the word. Pay Garola Baliaga. I receive boldness to declare the word. I receive boldness to declare the word. Linkatone Maliata. In Jesus' name we are praying. That's for this message. The reason for this communion, communion for enthronement. I remember we want to be enthroned this month. Please upon Lord, as I take communion, as Esther was enthroned the 10th month, I want to be enthroned. Shall we pray? Shall we pray? Lord, as Esther was enthroned the 10th month, I pray this 10th month, I want to be enthroned, Lord. Father, like Esther was enthroned the 10th month, Holy Spirit, this 10th month, I want to be enthroned. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are praying. Lord, I pray as Esther was enthroned the 10th month, I shall be enthroned this month. Everyone in this church shall be enthroned. No one shall be on the ground in Jesus' name. Oh, yeah. By your blood, you cross principalities.
you have received communion for enthronement, communion for boldness. Thank God to last in your life. Pray. Lord, we receive communion for boldness, communion for enthronement, to last long for me to use night and day, Lord. Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' name we are praying. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's no genuine giving that does not have reward. Praise the Lord. When Mordecai was there at security at the gate, and there was a coup, they wanted two people wanted to kill the king. He reported and God remembered him. And he became next to the king. Any seed you are sowing now will take you to your throne. And where you are not even planning to get to him, because he never believed that one day a book of remembrance will be open. So this month, book of remembrance will be remembered for every one of us. And we will ascend our throne in the name of Jesus. So dip your hand in your pocket, your wallet, and said, God, as I sow this seed, let a book of remembrance that all the offering, the title be paid since the beginning of this year. Let my reward come this month. Talk to God. Talk to God with your offering. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. It's our privilege to be in your house this evening to sow our seed. Lord, the way Lord Mordecai, you suddenly remember him. Let this month be a book of remembrance for us in the name of Jesus. It shall be a month of remembrance that all the seed we have been sowing since the beginning of this year, all the time we have been paying, oh God, let the reward come for us today in the name of Jesus. Lord, that this month we will ascend our, heaven, our throne like the way Esther ascend her throne. So also every one of us, financially, Materially, will go up, will never come down in the name of Jesus. The book of remembrance shall be open for all this month of October, November, and December, and will be swimming in financial material favor. Father, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Choir. You are the Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with any man. You will never share your glory with any body. listen to this announcement. Sunday the 8th of October will be our blood of sprinkling service for protection. It is also a cash and carry miracle service featuring prayers for the sick, prayers for long-standing afflictions and issues and lots more. The time is 7 a.m. We are going to have only one service on Sunday. Praise God. Hallelujah. Pentecost Fire, our end of year convention program holds from November the 22nd till the 26th, ministering Pastor Femi Emmanuel, our guest speaker, Bishop Joseph Ewoyime, and other anointed ministers of the gospel. The evening sessions will hold by 5 p.m., while the morning sessions will hold by 9 a.m. Members can now give towards Pentecost Fire 2023. Cash and transfer narrative for such giving is Pentecost Fire Seed. Check can be issued to Pesetas Christian Assembly, 
but at the back of the check it should be clearly stated for Pentecost Fire 2023. If you have interest or skill in any of the following areas, photography, content creation, social media management and advertising, video production, illustrations, branding, etc., and are interested in assisting seven within the church media team to create and manage publicity content for the church media pages, please put your name and contact down with any usher closest to you. Hallelujah. We are, we are asking for people show interest in our media unit to manage our social media pages. So if you are good at that, kindly meet any of the ushers to put down your, your name. Hallelujah. Let's rise and welcome God's servant to close the service. The message for this evening is not message for keep. So long as somebody lives near you who does not go to church, or he goes once in a while, or he's fighting the wife, fighting the husband, or fighting this thing. Those are the ones that should come. Please, as we close today, we are operation, in operation rescue them, operation compare them to come, and operation bring forth so this month to God. So I want us to pray. I receive grace, which I receive. The Lord, on Sunday, I will not come alone. On Sunday, make it a prayer. That is it. Make it practical. Let's make it practical. On Sunday, I will not come alone. Get a soul. Somebody living near you. If you have a space in your car, bring the person. If there's no, you don't have a car, you are taking a kind of prayer, bring the person. You are, you are coming by trekking. Bring the person. Jesus is the savior, is the healer, is the one to help us. If you have any sick to on Sunday in the hospital, in any area, please bring the person to, to the cash and carry prayer service. Somebody is sick, bring him. Lift your hand above your head. Father, as many as have understood this message and they want to put a practical to bring a soul, enable them to do it in the name of Jesus. As many adults as are in this church, Father, I pray as this message has reached them, let them practicalize it and get a soul who will come to, to, death, to church on Sunday. Let the soul be the one that is right for the kingdom so that with little interview and encouragement, they will come in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for doing it. For we are prayed in Jesus' name. See, I'm well able. And so it's possible to do it. Go in peace. Go in joy. Go rejoicing. Come back with aggressive testimonies. This month, no one shall die in this church. In Jesus' name. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I will go for the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the gospel truth. 2023, a year of wonders.